Louis Garcia Falcon. I'm a John Marshall Everglades intern. I do science communications. I'm helping the Everglades Foundation create an educational fact sheet that will identify different ecosystems and specific common plants, and birds, and other wildlife. And it's using all my original photography. My name is Natalia Turkel, and I'm the digital communications intern at the John Marshall Everglades Adventure Program. As a digital communication intern, I have several projects that last the entirety of the internship, like the weekly vlogs and the internship video, but I also do things on the side. One of my favorite side projects is definitely the birds that I drew for the foundation. My name is Adele and I'm an education intern at the John Marshall Everglades Intern Program at the Everglades Foundation. I've been working on a project developing a timeline of Everglades history to be used in the education department. That's been my primary project. But in addition to that, I've gone out into the field with the other interns and I've also been involved in some teacher trainings, which is a really cool thing that I've gotten to sit on. My name is Taya Gonzalez. I am the science communications intern. I'm in charge of putting together the Science Insider and I'm also in charge of a project I pitched. Um, which is explaining the Central Everglades Project, or CEP, to regular folks. The Everglades Foundation really gave me the opportunity to see uh, the Everglades from a new perspective. It's given me, a city kid from Chicago, this completely immersive experience both in restoration work like in the field as well as what work we still have to do in terms of policy and science um, and advocacy. Not only are you out in the field but you're also invited to talk to board directors, you're invited to talk to scientists and you experience a lot of policy too. I think my favorite experience is still flying above the Everglades and above Lake Okeechobee. Um, we got to walk through a cypress dome, which was an amazing experience. And I also really enjoyed the teacher training and the ways in which I've been able to deepen my knowledge about Everglades history through this program. I chose the Everglades Foundation because they really work on overall Everglades restoration and conservation and not just one specific topic. Everyone here is extremely devoted to Everglades restoration and it's just a great environment to be around. I chose the program because I'm really interested in environmental history. It really gives you a complete comprehensive view and understanding of the Everglades. I really wanted to challenge myself this summer. So it's given me the opportunity to see more of the policy and advocacy side of Everglades Restoration. If you have any reservations toward applying for this internship because you're out of state and because you might not know anything about this area, I would greatly encourage you to apply and to challenge yourself and push yourself out of your comfort zone because this place is worth it. Because everything that you learn and all the people that you're going to meet is worth feeling initially uncomfortable. Take it from somebody who feels that way now. It's so worth it.